I think this is really, really cool uh, because it comes with a lot of software. 50 bucks, 49 bucks. You're getting Pro Tools with this. Uh, you're getting a series of Avid effects uh, and you're getting X-Band 2. I've talked about X-Band on here. It comes with just about every other keyboard that I review on this channel. Uh, but uh, 32 keys and this thing is small. So it looks like something that will definitely fit inside of my backpack. You know what? I think I'm in love like already because this thing is very small, uh, very elegantly built. Uh, you got the you know USB cable that comes with it. You got your software package and warranty information and all that good stuff like that. But this thing actually l looks and feels pretty good for a micro keyboard. Uh, the form factor and the build, it's the same exact keys on it that are in the uh, Axiom Mini. Um, now, uh, as far as control, you're getting a volume knob. You're getting, um, okay, sustain pedal. You got a little sustain. So it doesn't have a sustain pedal input on it uh, at all. I get, did that for, for size purposes, I guess. Uh, so you got a sustain button. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um, now, this is something I haven't seen on... Um, keyboard controllers like this the pitch bend is actually a button you got button you got a pitch bend up button and you got a mod button so I'm not how, sure how I feel about that I want to see how that actually works that sounds like it could be cool but instead of I'm used to something tactile I'm in love with the, the form factor I'm in love with the um, you know the little micro key bed it feels pretty good uh, and I'm, I'm in love with the found form factor. It's just a hair bigger than the Korg uh, Nano Control. That's what I love about it. It's it's something that you could really have there, but I'm not sure how I feel about these pitch being and the sustain button. I'm not actually having a sustain jack on it, uh, but we'll see how that actually goes. So let's plug it up and see what's up. Okay, so it feels good. I can actually play some sequences, play some chords, you know, and it feels good. I can actually bang out some stuff if I needed to. The drawback to me is this sustain pedal thing. So if I had something that I wanted to play and I wanted to use my sustain pedal and I wanted to use both hands, I can't do that because I have to use the sustain button. which that's weird to me. One of the purposes of having a sustain pedal is so you can kind of move from chord to chord, giving that sustain, that extra level of sustain when you move. It's just a weird kind of transition. And then you can hold it. Okay, so you can press it down. You know, it's just not intuitive enough for me in terms of that sustain pedal. I mean, this, this unit is, it's thick enough to where you could have put a sustain pedal on it, uh, but you know I'm not sure what the internals in the actual board, MIDI, you know, internal board looks like, to where they could have had room for that sort of thing. So, uh, but it's cool. Uh, pitch bin. I guess that's okay, you know. But you can't do some of the fine, fine things you would do. Like I may like wanted to go and like slowly go down. I don't really get that ability to be able to do that with this pitch being modulation. Like I said, it's not as intuitive. This is a piano player talking now. Form factor, durability. I think this is an excellent like buy. This is gonna fit in your uh, your bag. Now what this could be used for and practical use in my case, maybe for running auxiliaries. You know, you can run some lead synths and things like that. Um, you know, producing on the go, maybe you're just on the airplane and you just got an idea, you want to whip it out your bag real quick and just kind of. You know, and 
put something out like that, you know, put something together like that, or maybe you're, you know, just building on a track or whatever. That's what this could be used for. Maybe triggering tracks from in Ableton, you can use the individual keys as triggers to send MIDI notes and stuff to trigger stuff. Um, outside of that, I don't really see much of a use case in it for, you know, especially for a guy like me, but I love the form factor. I love the keys. I love the weight, the durability. It feels durable. Um, the uh I'm, i just don't care for the pitch being modulation situation nor the sustain situation those are my cons and those are kind of core things when it comes to playing keys so um other than that it's a pretty decent you know midi controller you know midi mini mini controller uh so um yeah take that for what it's worth hope this video helped you hope it blessed you hope it gave you some insight um uh you know how we do on these videos i got some more of these little mini keyboard uh, reviews coming so you can check those out uh check out the ones i've done check out the ones i'm going to be doing make sure you subscribe hit all of those buttons on the video that do things the like button the share button leave a comment let me know how you're doing you know i like to you know, interact with you guys in the comments as much as I can. Uh, we'll talk to you guys on the next video. I'm out. Holla at your boy.